all right good folks so um i'm late it is wednesday and i um i finally saw insecure season five episode one i really had to see because all the hoopla about the, all the aka's my grandmother was an aka and boy did she ride or die she freaking black freaking pink and green that was her shit but people are it's so crazy how people are so detached from reality yo or what they perceive to be a reality when it came to that but that was another story this whole thing of insecure is i'm pissed off right this is the last season mario says lee is gone and i understand when shows have ran its course but i think we could have got like at least five more seasons no let's do it a round number like one more season and then just to top it off because this is like i always continue to say my living single i love it i love the music i love um the visuals i love the fashions i love the natural hair i love the dark skin um i love it i apps i love the sex i love the scenes i love the writing i love the directing I love it all, and I'm going to miss it as sad to see it go. But can we have a black love story that ends in some black shit? That's all I want is a real-life black love story. And I want it to be happily ever after. They have their two kids, a goddamn pit bull, and they listen to trap music, and they do barbecues, they do Thanksgivings and holidays at their house. That's what I want, and it looks like it's not. that's not what we're going to get. We're not going to get that at all. The first episode is basically their college reunion and stuff like that. And it seems like it's in Oakland, wherever they went to school at. Molly and Issa relationship is still sketchy. They're trying to get back to where they need to be. And also, Kelly explained to Molly that is the same thing with me and um, Amanda Seals. I can never... Oh, Tiffany. That's her name. I can never remember her name. That their um, friendship is not as strong as it was before due to what happened with them and with the whole baby shower and everything like that and it's just interesting and molly seems like you know she wants to be like her professional life is good but her personal life is shitty she want a man she want to be in a relationship and Issa couldn't find out Issa and Lauren still together and so she started thinking about it and she started crying I thought she was I'd rather tell when she got cancer before she told me they breaking up because I love them together and from the preview to this season, Condola is up there. And I ain't seen no baby, but the bitch, I'm guessing she had the baby. And I want them to be together. I want them to have their happily ever after. I want that black Love Jones type shit with a lot of dysfunction and an awkward black girl and a cheesy IT guy. I love it. Oof. Every time I see Lawrence. Uh, the basement is flooded anywho that's my little bit take on the first episode and i just love the fashion it give is giving me is giving me is giving me i don't want to say sex in the city is giving me um black girls are the real trendsetters black girls from the hood are the real trendsetters like my home girls there i say black women black girls are the trendsetters the trendsetters we are we are black girls from the hood we are and I love it. I absolutely love it. I don't know if I'll be able to do a review every week. I would love to, but I just be caught up in so much other stuff, my own insecure life. Um, but I'm I'm happy to see that it's back. And we got what well, we got like forty minutes. That's what we need. We need hour long episodes since we don't get um since we don't have commercials. We need hour long episodes. Come on! And I hope we get like fifteen of them. Shit, fifteen hours of some Issa, beautiful dark skin. I love it. Molly, beautiful dark skin. Freaking um, Kelly, beautiful brown, big skin. I love me some Kelly. I'm, I'm somewhat across between Issa and Kelly because Issa being awkward as fuck. And Kelly being freaky as fuck. The, those two are my spirit animals. But tell me what you think about this being the last season. I understand it, but I don't, I'm selfish. I don't want to understand it. And um, what do you think about the preview? What's to come? What do you think is going to happen? What's going to happen in Issa life? Because there's some women that I know, including myself, at times they have like 10 million degrees, but still seem like they're missing something. 
you know, in their life. And it doesn't have to be a man. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It doesn't have to be a woman in their life. It doesn't have to be a baby. But they still ain't got their shit together with on all levels. And who do? Who do? Who the fuck do? All right. That's all I have to say about that. You know, you know the vibes. Let's keep it cute and keep it in the comments.